I'm smoking Ed Curry. I'm the president, owner, mad scientist, and chef at the Pucker Butt Pepper Company, and I'm not going crazy anymore because Dark doesn't want me to say that. <laughs> You're going to keep that in the video, too. Can we retake that? No. Do me a welcome to the channel or something. Instead of saying, I'm going crazy, Dark wants me to say, welcome to our channel. I guess I'm going to have to become a professional at this. Tom? Yes, Ed. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Ed. Are you dried off? I'm, I'm getting there. Because we're in the middle of what, Hurricane Ursa? Hurricane Ursa, Ed. Yeah. You know, we just got done a long holiday weekend. I felt like crap. Someone noticed it in the video last week. I've had a head cold. I had all these people in my house and all I wanted to do was sit around and watch Rust Valley. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter if you're sick or not. When you're a farmer, when you're a manufacturer, you have to keep on working, correct? That's right, Ed. I was blessed to have Tom come up and take care of the plants over the weekend instead of me. As you can see here, plants are growing. Okay, it's never too late to start your plants. You just have to have the right things if you're going to start them later. We're going to plant some real peewees today. Grab one of those trays, Tom. Let's show them how small these are. Look at that. We're going to plant some of those. It's going to be great. Let's answer some questions first. One of the viewers are at, was asking about diatomaceous earth. Uh, a lot of people use it. Uh, I don't. The only thing I've ever seen it work well with is slugs, okay? And we got some big slugs here in South Carolina. How big were those ones we found they, yesterday? They were like a good six inches. Yeah. Well, what is diatomaceous earth? It's stuff from the prehistoric ages. Like it's ground like up fossils. Fossils and coral yeah. and stuff. And it, what it does is it cuts the insects, makes them bleed. I just stay away from that. There's plenty of other things to use. Now, if you're going to use diatomaceous earth, you put that around the around plant? Around the plant. Not the near ground. the stalk, around the plant on top. I have a personal question, Ed. I've noticed a lot of people say to urinate on your pepper plants to keep away pests like deer and stuff, but won't that kill the pepper plant? Yeah, you don't want to urinate directly on your plant, okay? Even though urine will help keep away uh, mammals mammals only like deer like deer uh, you can pee near your plant if you really want to pee uh, near your plant or you can just there's the stuff it's called fox urine you can get it in any Walmart or Kmart or things like that and you can just put a few drops of fox urine down it does the same thing well, that's no fun <laughs> yeah but you know they have new rules in different states about being sex offenders <laughs> then you might not want to pee on your plant in public, okay? So what you're saying is you should do it late at night and you should do a distance around the plant. Around the plant. If you're going to do that, if you need, feel the need to go out and pee on your plant, that's the way to do it. Honestly, in the backyard in Rock Hill, when the deer started coming, I'd pee in a quart jar and spread it on the fence line, okay? Uh, but that's only when I was out of fox urine or any of the other multitude of things that you can buy that will keep the deer away. I want to address a question I keep on getting. Uh, people keep on saying that I'm sponsored by Bonnie Plants. We are not sponsored by Bonnie Plants. We are partners with Bonnie Plants. Bonnie and Scott's Miracle Grow want to help bring peppers to the whole nation and make it easier for people to grow hot peppers. So I partnered with them to supply them seeds. That is all, okay? We're not sponsored by anybody. We're the Pucker Butt Pepper Company. We sponsor ourselves. I hope that puts that to rest. And all that Monsanto stuff, all that other crap, your opinion is valid, but you can keep it to yourself on my channel, okay? Speaking of Miracle Grow, we, we've been asked about feeding your plants and what, what do you feed your plants? Now, we just potted these all up in miracle Grow. <laughs> we used something called miracle Grow Performance Organics. It has everything you need for the first 30 to 60 days, depending on the type of plant. We're not fertilizing yet. I do see a couple of plants like that. Look at the one that Tom brought back to life. He kept it alive all winter long. But look at that one. It's covered in pods. It's starting to get really lengthy. So. We could probably do a little video about uh, fertilizing that one, maybe one or two of the other ones. I really don't fertilize until the plants tell me to. Most of the problems peppers have can be solved with a product called CalMag 
and a product called Alaska Fish Emulsion. Those two things will make your plants grow like crazy and they're readily available at Lowe's and Home Depot. What you do is like on the fish emulsion, you put a little glug into a gallon and then fill it up with water. Do not put the fish emulsion directly on your plant in a gallon of water and then around the plant, around the plant, not on the plant. People like to say, you know, uh, to put cow mag on the leaves and let it leaf absorb. You don't need to. Again, you mix it, a glob, okay, it says to put a teaspoon or a capful or whatever. I put a glob. What's a glob? A glob is when you turn the, <laughs> the jug over and it goes glob. <laughs> okay. I put a glob in a gallon. I think it's a tablespoon or two tablespoons Somewhere, per gallon is what yeah. it says on the... Put a, emulsion, put, but a a glob in, put a glob in. Put a glob in to a gallon and then around your plants. Or you could buy some really premium soil and not have to worry about it for a little while. We'll be showing you what we do when we do it, but we'll pick some plants and, and really give them a good feeding and show you what happens. Now if you remember, five weeks ago we planted those tall ones. See these little ones? Those have been in the pots for 10 days. And look how fast they're growing. Nothing but water on those plants. Nothing but water. Look at these peewees. They're from last week. They're popping like crazy. It's never too late to plant. You can build a greenhouse for about $200 out of stuff you can buy at Lowe's and Home Depot. PVC, some wood, <laughs> and a little bit of painter's plastic. Yeah. Or you can buy a kit for a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. But it is never too late. After you put in either cow mag or fish emulsion, I wait about two or three hours to let it settle in the soil, and then I water the plants. I hand water them uh, just to get that started down into the roots, okay? And that's all I do. People have a lot of really extravagant things out there on the internet that they do to plants. You don't need to. You can if you want to. Might make you look good on the internet, uh, but look what we're doing and watch the results. <laughs> I've spent a ton of money doing the foliage spray, a ton of money doing the different um, teas and the different organics. I've used the Jax 2020. I've used all sorts B12, of different. B12. All. B12, when you transplant, use the B12 for the, to make the Root roots. Yeah. And we planted peewees, like we just showed you in this tray, and they're still alive. They're, they're flourishing and we didn't use any <laughs> of that stuff and <laughs> it's, it's just a very time consuming and money consuming thing to use all that stuff when you can go farmers have been farming for hundreds of years and just putting the stuff in the ground so here at the farm they do soil tests and they they you know there's a lot of that goes into it well but. yeah but that's field field yeah. work and we're not talking about field work we're talking about stuff people can do at home Hey, viewers, do you want to see stuff about the fields? We'll show you if you want, but we're not going to show you where. Leave your comments, hit that like button, and share the video. Make sure you subscribe to Sm Ed Curry. I don't know. I think it's Ed Curry. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't said this in a while, but remember, if we hit 500,000 subscribers, I'm sending Tom, Caitlin, and Dark down to Florida uh, into a shark cage and they're gonna feed a shark a reaper. And if we hit a million subscribers, I'm sending them to the gator farm down in Florida by my buddy's house. He's gonna eat reaper a off reaper the off a gator snout. snout and Dark's gonna eat one off the gator's tail. Yeah. yeah. This is gonna be fun, one million subscribers. Can we wrestle the gator as well? Do you think that's allowed? No, the insurance won't cover that. <laughs> what are we doing today? Uh, I think we're planting up some peewees. Let's take three of these peewees, Tom, from the number 32 and put them in that pot. Right. Yeah, I wouldn't try to get the whole thing, Tom, but you can. Oh, you see there's a little root? Yeah, I see it. Oh. There's, there's a little root there. What's going to kill these peewees is if they get the dirt on top of them. But we take very good care of them. Make a little circle around it so the water can come up to it but not cover it. We'll put three in that one and two in another.
Now remember, what's the number on this one? 32. We're going to see what happens to number 32. doing is I'm pressing down around the sides to give an area for the water to pool up in so that it still gets water without covering tiny little plants. Just because this guy has stayed alive for so long, now we're going to transplant him and see what happens. Now there's nothing wrong with this plant. Why the plant is green and white is because that's the type of plant it is. Say a little prayer for him. Ask God to give him strength, grow tall, and produce lots of fruit. Look at little 65. Whoa. That is little. How long ago do you think that popped, Ed? It just popped. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to show people that we can keep peewees alive, and it'll be okay. Like generally, why we don't plant them this small is because if a grasshopper or a cricket got in here, it would eat, it. eat this plant, and then we would have an empty bucket. That's why you could keep them in trays in case something does happen like that, and you're not planting plants that are about to get eaten. About two weeks ago, the praying mantis hatched. They are happy and healthy and getting big. Out of each egg case, approximately 200 come out. Out of that 200, about 50 to 100 are gonna get eaten by their brothers and sisters. And the rest are growing, and they're everywhere. When they get a little crowded as they're getting bigger, they sneak out under the uh, openings in the greenhouse and they go out into the fields and out into the plants. And it makes for a happy, happy praying mantis. Last week, when was it Friday? A couple days ago, right before the 4th of July, we released ladybugs. The ladybugs are everywhere. You can't see them flying around, but every time Tom waters, they come out and they drink. And what they're doing is they're waiting for little buggies to come around and they're going to eat those bugs. Again, those also will go seek more food if they need to, but they will always come back here. And we leave some of, uh, there's some flowers and things in the greenhouse, leaves a little home for them. It's just a lot of fun. So we released uh, 15,000 in this greenhouse, 15,000 in the other greenhouse. Out of those 15,000 in each one, maybe only 2,000 will stay inside the greenhouse. But see, our greenhouses are surrounded by fields. So the ones that go out will eventually make it to the pepper fields. That's what happens. We're going to be releasing every month praying mantis and ladybugs. Even though there's going to be adults that are left over from the first uh, hat, you know, the first sets that we get. The reason we do that is to keep the population up and it keeps a natural population going. Uh, they breed out there in the trees and in the fields they and they just keep on too. going. They breed in here too. We had baby ladybugs <laughs> on the pepper plants last year. Wasn't that, that was a lot of fun. All right, so I hope you enjoyed seeing us plant some peewees. We got a few more to plant. We got one, two, three, four, five, uh, and then we're going to water, and then we're going to go work. Here's another thing. I'm getting like two, three hundred emails a day saying, Ed, are the peppers ready? We'll let you know when we have ripe peppers, okay? Uh, please stop sending the emails. <laughs> Everybody will know. All right, so I want to tell you all, I love you. Thank you for the kind words and the concern. Be kind to one another. Be respectful to one another. Help out your neighbor. Uh, we're all neighbors on this earth. Do something nice for someone. Go to www.puckerbuttpeppercompany.com and order some hot sauce. <laughs> we love you. Tom. I love you too. Do you? Yeah. All right. We hope you have a great day. We hope you have a good weekend. And it will be a great day and a good weekend if you focus on the family. Family comes first. Let's critique Dark, because what did you think about this? He interrupted us a lot today. He did. He, he's going to have to cut a lot of footage that he interrupted during the middle of. He says he's got 25 minutes, but we're going to have to cut out like 22 of it because he kept on interrupting. Yeah. What about this setup? Do you like being up here well, or do you like being in the back? You know, um, I don't mind being up here, but he was like, you know, complaining. 
I was going to use a stronger word, but um, he was complaining that I was going to get his laptop wet when I was watering. It's not the, his laptop. The plants. He said that he would take him two years to afford another one when I know he didn't pay for it. So, <laughs> said I got his hard drive wet. Hard drive wet. You did. <laughs> Other than that, he did a great job. Very professional. The channel's looking great. The other videos that he's doing for other things look great. You know, I will say there's a video coming out that you guys are all gonna love. And Dirk's worked really hard on it. And he did a really, really good job. And it's an exciting new product. Uh, brought to you directly from us. And I think it's gonna just, it's gonna take over the world. <laughs>